My name is Lieutenant Junior Grade Mike Barnhill. I'm an oceanography officer at the Naval Oceanography Mine Warfare Center. The equipment that my division runs um, is all based on the Mark 18 unmanned underwater vehicle. So we take that out on a combat rubber rating craft, drop it over the side, and it collects side scan sonar data that we bring back, do post mission analysis on data fusion with different software that we have developed for that purpose here at NOMIC. The unmanned vehicle is essential to NOMIC's mission set. We don't have any other way to um, get down and get the level of fidelity that we can see with UUVs um, from any manned system. And unmanned systems in general, anytime that you can field one of those, you're taking a sailor out of harm's way, which is very important to us. Yeah, using an unmanned system to keep our sailors safe with the mission set that we have at NOMIC is essential because we can launch an autonomous system like the Mark 18, operate it from hundreds of meters away. When you're dealing with a minefield that you don't know the extent of, that's the only safe way to go about it. You can keep your own sailors in their lives far away from any of the danger of a mine threat being posed and still be able to do everything we need to do to clear that area. The fish can be used for other missions as well. One of our secondary missions here is humanitarian aid and disaster relief. If a port gets damaged in a storm or some other natural disaster, NAMIC can be the first uh, team responding in to try and insonify the bottom of that port, try and see what kind of obstructions are there for larger vessels that need to get in, get the port up and running again, and help the people who are affected by the disaster. So the Mark 18's main focus in what it's gathering is going to be side scan sonar data. So that's going to be a very high definition um, image being captured of the bottom with sound waves. It's also gathering as it is um, running through the water, it's gathering environmental data. You're getting conductivity, temperature, depth and pressure, all that kind of stuff. Um, all kinds of different metadata like that that we can pull off of it and then use for um, any kind of data analysis that we want to do later on on our mission. So once the data has been collected, um, we bring all of it back here. Imagery can be used for training on our newer sailors that haven't actually been out to collect all that kind of stuff. The data itself is very helpful for establishing a baseline for um, future mine warfare surveys of an area. If you see an object down on the bottom um, and then a couple of years later you're trying to see if there are any mines in that area, you can compare that imagery to the stuff that you've already taken to um, the database that we maintain of those mine-like contacts and say, oh no, that's a tire. I saw that two years ago. We don't need to worry about that. And that just speeds things up when you're trying to clear a port, trying to finish an exercise, trying to uh, make sure that any kind of threat is actually dealt with as soon as possible. If you can knock those off of your list when you see something down there, that always speeds up the process. I think my favorite thing about NOMWIC is being able to lead a small team of sailors. Uh, we travel all the time. I've been to more continents than I can even remember right now since joining up a couple of years ago. Um, and when we head out, we'll have a mission commander who's in charge of maybe three, maybe a dozen sailors. And um, being able to head up those exercises, being able to work closely with your own team and develop all of that stuff is wonderful. The Navy's mission can't be carried out without safety navigation, safety of flight. Um, someone needs to be watching the skies and the ocean at all times to make sure that wherever a ship or an aircraft or a sub is going, we know exactly what kind of conditions we're going to have there and we can leverage those to our advantage if need be.